Hey guys, let's begin the course by having a look at um, the HDF data format. HDF stands for Hierarchical Data Format and it's designed to store and organize large amounts of data. The most common version these days is version 5, but um, I don't know whether we'll have new versions in the new or distant future. And the file structure is quite similar to the file system directory tree so you can have like a node or a trunk and then you can have branches or subdirectories um, and so on and so forth the top level of the hdf5 tree is a file so the file itself and then the file can contain groups one or more groups or you can have uh, data sets and each group can contain other groups so we can have nested groups and data sets and each data set contains data objects so the actual saving of the data is in the data sets um, and uh, usually in, in uh, because we're talking about uh, uh, Python in most cases it will be associated with a uh, you know numpy types like numpy arrays and matrices and so on and so forth and then we can also have some additional parameters like attributes we'll have a look at that in in the coming videos uh, so to sum up that you know we have three basic I types of items in HDF format uh, we have file, group, and data sets, and their names are used as access keys. So the idea of the HDF uh, data format is that we can access uh, things in a key value manner, like, you know, um, uh, um, dictionaries in Python. So this is why Python is very suitable and very convenient for HDF data. And then more details can be found in the actual website of the HDF group if we uh, have a look at the website hdfgroup.org uh, we can find an introduction of what's HDF5 the, the, the technology which includes the following things and they talk about high-level APIs here C, C++, Fortran, 90 and Java interfaces I'm surprised why uh, Python is not there but one interesting thing I'd like you to have a look at is this tutorial and this PDF file uh, in particular. So here they have an introduction to the HDF5 uh, format, description of the file format, data model groups, data sets, and some data types, and then some sort of softwares and APIs and libraries that, uh, that can be used, and then um, some examples to create files. So the format usually, uh, the HDF5 is typically or specifically designed for large volumes of uh, uncomplex uh, data for every size and type of system so it's quite portable it can work on every uh, operating system uh, it's flexible and efficient storage for you know and for IO process is quite fast and lots and lots of other features and if we look at this diagram here it, it sums up the features and characteristics of HDF5 data that it combines the features of uh, relational databases so we can do subsetting or PDF because it's it, it can become like a standard exchange format or for XML because it's self-describing and self um, self-contained or for binary data format because that gives us high performance or for you know directories and files where we can have this hierarchical uh, structure of the data uh, of the files themselves uh, and then we can have a look at a deeper description of the file format or the data model and uh, one interesting diagram I wanted to tell you, you can go through the file, it's quite nice and easy to understand, it's quite, you know, it's written in plain English really, so nothing complicated there. So groups, the concept of groups, the concepts of data sets, like notes here it says a multi-dimensional array uh, of data elements together with supporting metadata, so we can have metadata as well. This is the diagram I wanted to show you quickly, that we have here HDF file, HDF5 file to be more specific, it has a root group and then we can have one or more groups each group in each group we can have other subgroups or we can have data sets so this one here it says there are two groups in this HDF5 file uh, viz this is one group and sim out the other group under the viz group are a variety of images and a table that is shared with the sim group so you can share the same data set between uh, two groups um, um, the sim out group contains three dimensional uh, array. This is a three dimensional array and a two dimensional array, so we made a two dimensional matrix and another HDF5 file, so a file inside a file, okay? 
and uh, it's quite easy uh, to, 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 to understand if, if, you, if you're familiar with um, operating systems because working with groups and group members is quite similar to working with directories and files in Unix. So, uh, as you know, with the Unix directories and files, objects in HDF5 are and files are often described by giving the full path. So, we need to know the absolute path or the full path names, right? So the slash signifies the root group and then slash foo signifies a member of the root group called foo and then we can go on, we can have nested groups or we can go down uh, several levels. Okay, so this is uh, another illustration of the same uh, file that we, that we have here that the, uh, the gray ellipses are groups and these are uh, data sets, okay? So that's in brief. Uh, the, uh, uh, what HDF5 files are and their contents and their structure. Uh, have a look at the file and let's begin in the next video by um, coding and um, basically starting, you know, doing our Python stuff where, the where we will have lots and lots of interesting things. I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.